see, but it, I don't see any bubbles coming out of it. It looks like it's working. Oh, maybe there was one bubble. Overall, though, looks like it worked. Pleasantly surprised. GoPro, stop recording. I got one of these. I don't know what it does or how it works. Oh, something like that. Oh, and I got my trusty GoPro. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Just practicing here at the uh, at the old ranch. And uh, you are now at the informational section of this vlog. This is the second vlog test that I've done. Uh, yes, I have the Feiyu Tech Gimbal. It has been on loan to someone else who loved it and is going to buy one. And I have my trusty GoPro, which is going to make a little appearance later in this uh, presentation. But there's two things that I wanted to bring up before we just go back to the pure, sick visuals, baby. Yesterday I did a blog post about the testing of the blurb, the new Economy Magazine paper. Now, I am a premium magazine paper, and if you haven't seen this, this is something called the Fuji File. This is a magazine that was made with images all shot on the Fuji, like Lady Gaga going to her car, leaving a New York hotel. Didn't know it was a paparazzi, did you? Uh, my friend in somewhere in Santa Ana, just as a case in point, somewhere underground in Seattle. Anyway, the whole thing shot on Fuji, blurb premium magazine paper. This paper, this product, is one of the best things that Blurb makes. If you're a photographer and you're not using magazine, you're brain dead. That's my opinion. I know that sounds harsh. Anyway, they came out with a new economy magazine paper. Now, again, I'm a premium guy. Everything I shoot, imagery, heavy art, heavy visuals, etc., it's really more tailored to the premium. However, I wanted to do a test. I was surprised. These are virtually the same thickness, which I was surprised. I thought this would be much thinner, much flimsier. It's not. Uh, and there are aspects of this I really like. I think the, the black and white imagery is dead nuts on. I think uh, color-wise it's right on. There is a little bleed through. There are some banding things that I like and don't like. Here's the same Lady Gaga kind of picture here. Um, the paper has a little less contrast. It's, a less, it's less thick. There is more bleed through. There's a tiny bit of banding that you get sometimes with the faster printers, the, the least less expensive printers. However, if you are doing something that is copy heavy, has a lot of white pages, maybe a blend of like photography and poetry, that could be a good option because it is literally half the price of the premium. I still think premium magazine is dirt cheap. They start at $5.99, the economy starts at $3.99. You can always find a use for these things. I do a test because I wanna know what it's like and how to use it and how not to use it. So anyway, you can, you can watch this, you can listen to me, meh, 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 but do your own test. The second thing I wanted to announce is I have a new publishing project, which is a big one, a serious one. I'm getting ready to blog about it, probably end of the week. It's with a legit designer, one of my favorite Blurb users, and one of my favorite designers I've ever met in my life. And she is gonna take a body of work of mine and turn it into something far better than what I could do. And we're gonna do a custom offset printed book through the Blurb system, and I am gonna track the entire process, including doing videos about the entire process. And what I had to do earlier today was start to go back through my journals from back the late 90s to early 2000s. And I have, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of journals. Um, just to give you a little sleeper hint, that says Palermo. So the project uh, was based in Sicily and these are some of the books that I made from back in the day. And so I have to go back and pull some of the writing and observations that I made while I was there. There's another like some sort of Italian weird transit ticket or maybe that's money, I have no idea. Anyway, that's coming. A couple of interesting publishing projects in the works, but this, this one is gonna be really interesting. It will be my first offset book printed through Blurb, custom offset. 
and anyway, tracking the whole process. So that's it for the informational section of this blog. And now we're just gonna go back to the dope visuals, people, because that's what all the young people are saying. That's what they're all calling this. So anyway, test number two in the books. Stop recording.